What's up, y'all? This is Ty. My voice is cracking. I'm Ty. I am here because it's 2B Tuesday, and I am here to review a 2B movie. This one is a 2B movie of your choice. Listen, this one, I, this is going to be spoilers, so I'm letting you know I'm spoiled and the whole damn thing. You can still go and watch it anyway, but this one will have to be spoilers because I have to discuss this. I, I, there's no way I can mention this without really getting into it, so this is a spoiler review. <laughs> so don't get mad, don't get upset. But I want to give a shout out to the lovely person who requested this film. This one is called Hashtag BFFS. So the BFFs. But you know, I'm looking through my comments and I can't find the person. I know that the person requested that I watch this, but I can't find your name. So whoever you are, thank you. Shout outs to you. Please leave your comment down below so I can give you your proper shout out. Because I I, I I was looking, I don't know where it is in my notes, but you know, brother's tired. Yo, I've been, I'm blessed, I'm not complaining, I'm very blessed. I'm not, I'm in not one, but two, two plays, two plays. One is a one night only gospel play uh, called uh, uh, The Brothers Speak that sold out, A hey, sold out, sold out. I'm doing a whole bunch of singing and acting in that one. And then at the end of the month, February 28th and 29th, I am doing the Gladys Night, which I've done before, the Gladys Night music review. I'm playing one of the pips. I'm also singing in that and doing dance moves. Woo, woo. So that, I put that up on my um, shorts. You can get the information there if you're interested, if you are in the New York City area. So I know y'all saying, Ty, you're looking tired, you're looking rusty. That's because I am tired right now because I got a lot going on. But I had to come on here and give you this review of BFF. So shout outs to all my lovely subscribers. Shout outs to folks like Cream Omega, Baby Beans, Randall Brown, Lamont Simpson, and all the rest of you wonderful people who have been watching these 2B uh, Tuesday reviews with me. So with that being said, let's get right down to this one called B, hashtag BFFS. So BFFs, that's, that's what it's called. And it's... um. Here on 2B, starring Terry T. Miles, Lester Green, Mar Marquise Clark, Victoria Filson, and it is directed by Maya Speller. And it says, what's done in the dark is always brought into the light. A weekend trip for four girlfriends turns deadly at the devastating result, devastating secrets are revealed. And boy, there are secrets. And you know I like a film with a good twist and a turn and a twist and a turn. But this one out the gate. Anne, I believe that character's name was Anne. She, we show her, they show her in the beginning, jumping out of bed. She done had a nightmare. She rushes into the bathroom. We hear the voiceover and the voiceover is saying, oh my God, I can't sleep. I'm having, I can't sleep through the nights. These nightmares, this, that, and the third. She takes a little pill and then she goes to the toilet, stands over the toilet, shh. I said, oh, so Anne is a man, or used to be a man, I should say. And when you know, she went through that transition, but she still got her, you know, penis. So she st I said, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting, because I'm like, yeah, let somebody who she didn't, so I'm thinking, okay, what's going to go on here? Somebody don't know that she's used to be a he and has transitioned. And tell them to find out nobody knows because she goes to her therapist and she's discussing with her therapist her issues and the pain she's going through. And she's like, my good girlfriends. And the therapist says, well, ma'am, if these are your good girlfriends, how come they don't know your the real you, the real thing about you? They don't know everything about you. They don't know that you used to be a man and you transitioned to a woman. And that was a very good point. And it's like, and how will they take that and how will they judge her? Meanwhile, while that's going on, you have the other friend, Paula, who is chatting up with this dude named Maxwell, and she's mad with him, you know, when you going to leave your girl, blah, 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 blah. But she's trifling because the girl she's telling him when he's going to leave is her best friend. And she's like, when are you going to tell her? Mm, it's a little trifling. It's a lot trifling, actually. When are you going to tell her? And, you know... This girl is trusting in you. Loretta's trusting in you. And this is the stuff that you're doing. I'm like, eh, it's a little tacky. Then there's this married couple. And the married couple, the wife 
wants to have sex and the husband is always putting it off. They have two beautiful children. He's always putting it off because he's busy and he's working and she's feeling like she's neglected. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much those storylines for the young ladies. But then they decide, let's have a ladies. This is a girl's trip. We going out. We gonna have, well, it was a girl's trip and we gonna have a good time. And when they're out, what I noticed instantly was how shady Paula was because Paula is like, saw this Maxwell kiss Loretta before she got him, went on to the trip. She's like, he gonna kiss her in front of me? Listen, he's having both of y'all. That's what he's trying to, that's what he's doing basically. But how do you do this to your best friend? What kind of friend? Who needs friends like that? I said, what a trifling woman this is. Just trifling. So I'm in, I'm sold because I'm like, okay, what are these chicks about to do? They get to the the cabin or wherever they were in the mountains or whatever, they start playing little games and then Anne drops some medication. And the medication was something that shows that she may have HIV. And of course, Paula told the rest of the girls what it was. And so now Anne is embarrassed. And one of the girls was like, ill, like it was crazy. So that was that. So it was showing, it's showing how people deal with secrets, basically, is what the, I got from this film. And how you handle things and who are your real friends are. That's what I got from this. And then, for some reason, this girl trip turns into a guys and girls trip because now their boyfriends come over. And now they're, it's now a couples trip now. And I'm like, okay, this is getting interesting. And there's twists and turns. And then Anne catches uh, Matt, this isn't Maxwell, Anne catches Maxwell kissing on Paula. And I'm like, y'all, this trifling, your girlfriend is here and you still tipping and dipping in the same cabin. What? Come on, dude. So that's ridiculous. And of course, Anne reveals that. She exposes that. Well, ha ha. You supposed to be best friends and he cheating this, that, and the third. She exposes that, the girls get mad, there's a little thing going on. But to me, I felt like that scene, I like the storyline, but I felt like that scene could have gave us more action. Your best friend and your fiance have been messing around, y'all in the same cabin, and she didn't. She wasn't mad enough for me. It was not enough drama for me in that. And then the other young lady who, um, her boyfriend, she keeps throwing in his face. He was a felon and he's been an ex-con or whatever. He doesn't have a job and she keeps saying, when you gonna get a job, when you gonna get a job? And he gets upset about her saying, when you gonna get a job? This, that, and the third. Anne recognizes him and he's, oh, he recognized her too. Anne recognized him and she called her therapist and told her therapist she needed to come. So the therapist is gonna come to the cabin. And Anne recognizes the guy and the guy's upset because he's getting tired of being you know, bringing up his, when are you going to get a career? When are you going to get a job? And it's with his girlfriend. So now the cat is out of the bag about that drama, about the cat was out of the bag about the drama about Anne having, um, what was it about? Um, Loretta's uh, man cheating on her with her best friend. So that drama is blowing up and going on. Then you got the married couple their issue was we don't have enough sex. That was really their drama. She felt like she may cheat on him if he don't give her some, like she feels like she's being ignored. They kind of worked their thing out. But then the big kicker was Anne still has this reveal. And so she decides when she gets, when the therapist comes, she decides to tell everybody, hey, I do have HIV, but she also said, I used to be Andrew and I know your boyfriend talking about the guy who's a former felon because I know him from jail when I used to be Dre or something like that. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So it was, there was a lot going on. And even that and that reaction. So now the guy's like, so you're telling me there's a chance that I might have HIV because you have HIV? And his reaction it was not dramatic enough for me in the beginning that scene I was like some of that could have been acted out a little bit differently and then the therapist is like no one's gonna hurt you this that and the third homeboy went in that room came back out with a gun and of course there was tragedy here and the message I did like what they were trying to get across but I feel like some of the execution of this film I felt like could have been in some places the reactions could have been a little bit more 
a little bit more dramatic because these were devastating reveals that was going on here, devastating reveals. But the message here for this film, what I got, because at the end they show statistics, um, and statistics were basically about, um, the statistics were basically um, about the dangers that trans women go through and trans, you know, they're getting killed and the, they, they just put a bunch of statistics up and then they put up another thing about someone that was killed from br police brutality. So I feel like they just wanted to get their message out there and that's what they did. They got the message across that people react to certain news with violence. So that's what they did. So I, I say for the topic and the way I think the topic was a good, but some of the way some of the ways they handled the drama in this, I was like could have been handled a little bit better, directed a little bit, just a little bit better. But again, this is your smaller budget. Far as what they were trying to do with getting their point across, I think the point was made. The point was definitely made. So that's how I feel about this. They made a point. This is a topic that does not get touched on a lot. And we don't really speak on it a lot. And you don't really see, or I haven't really seen any films that deal with this. So I commend them for dealing with that topic. And, you know, all the other stuff. We have sprinkling the best friend and this and that. So, yeah, that's it. That's my review. I thought it was a decent film. I um, appreciated the topic. If you've seen this before, tell me your thoughts down below. The person who requested this film, please tell me your thoughts. How did you, what did you think about the film? Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.